All right, so in this video, let's see how do we add a node in rack. So in real application cluster, uh, there is an activity which is a rare activity, but still, uh, it is since it is included in the course content, I thought I should have a uh, put a clear understanding over this. So uh, though it has nothing much about the practical, I mean uh, the theoretical part, uh, everything is entirely. Uh, about the practical which I have a separate video recorded for so whatever a little bit of uh, theoretical part I can discuss with you is what I'm going to talk, talk about in this video so let's begin with adding a node in rack the theoretical part so there are certain prerequisites of adding a node and in the real-time scenarios the system administrator will provide the machine as per the environments configuration so this means uh, we don't have to and we obviously will not create a machine the system administrator is going to give you a Linux installed machine or if your environment is on Windows then the system administrator will take care of it and it's just that you need it you just need to know or probably let the system administrator know that this is what the configuration that you are required to have for adding a node and stuff like that uh, the new machine provided by the system administrator so the system administrator which is going to provide you the new machine uh, will not have nothing but just the operating system installed so it could either be Windows or Linux or CentOS or whichever operating system that your real application cluster is installed on or the existing uh, real application cluster is that the same uh, machine will be on the new node as well and there will be nothing else so we will have to configure grid RDBMS instances etc on that fresh machine so the new machine that we have got will not be connected to the existing cluster setup uh, and we need to install the grid on that we need to install RDBMS we need to also add the instance or if required we need to add multiple instances if at all we have multiple instances in that case once everything is installed and configured the fresh machine will then become the part of an existing cluster so once everything is configured right from the IPs, uh, the host names, grid, RDBMS, instances, etc, etc, etc. Then the machine will become the part of the cluster unless uh, and until the machine will still be considered as an independent machine and the machine will not be having any access to the shared uh, uh, storage uh, and the other machines that are currently the part of the cluster. So the new machine that we, are, we are, will will add should also become the part of the cluster and should be able to communicate with the other machines of course since it is going to be the part of the cluster it definitely has to you know uh, live in communication with the other machines so the procedure that we are going to follow which we will see it in the practical uh, session you will have a better understanding on that uh, okay a last note over here adding a node in the cluster is purely business dependent so it is purely depending on the business and if the client comes back to you saying that I am required to add another node since my business is expanding and uh, looks like there are a lot of customers who are trying to connect and uh, if, if at all there is a requirement especially at the time of uh, seasonal uh, sale or or I would say you know uh, at the festive season then probably you are required to add a node so that the number of uh, clients or the customers depending on the website that you're using uh, and if it is uh, you know rack enabled then you are required to add a node or else unnecessary uh, you know uh, resources like the extra hard disk extra RAM and stuff like that will be used and no organization would give you just like that if there is a real need for it only then it's going to work out if not then they don't use this so if a client feels the necessity of expanding the business that runs on rack setup an existing setup doesn't suffice the needs so like I said if the existing number of nodes are not enough and there are the number of customers are more than the existing number of nodes then the possibility is really high that you are required to add a node so that the business needs uh, suffice the needs then the activity of adding a node is required so that the business needs can be matched with the increasing number of customers alright uh, let's see 
the next slide and uh, this is just a you know a nutshell understanding for you to make it easier right before you start practicing or doing a practical on adding a note so we will have a quick understanding uh, on on this uh, uh, you know the slide so currently consider that I have a two node setup and in this two node setup certain things that you see is the operating system that you will have then you will have grid infrastructure RDBMS and instance one at the other node you will have operating system grid infrastructure RDBMS instance two so these are the two nodes and they are interconnected with the private network I did not mention the private network and all since this is not the architecture uh, uh, demonstration you already know about it this is just a rough idea right before you start uh, you know getting towards uh, the practical so these uh, consider both of these as nodes in your the existing cluster setup which is on two nodes and the database and instance is running over here then you have and these two machines are actually connected to the shared storage so the data that you see has uh, control redo and data files stored here on the shared storage that's what we do right uh, and OCR and voting disk as well so if I am willing to add a third node to the existing two node setup I am required to have a physical machine first of all and that physical machine will not have these three things it will just have the operating system given to you by your system administrator it is you who is going to in, you know uh, copy the grid infrastructure from first or the second node it's you who's going to copy the RDBMS either from the first or the second node and it's you who's going to add the instance and adding an instance is a different activity you cannot copy the instance so like I said it will be explained to you in detail uh, during the practical so that you can have a clear understanding and you can practice it yourself if you have enough resources or you can just follow the video that's going to be enough so the moment you get the uh, operating system installed machine this is the third node you are required to ins uh, copy the grid infrastructure RDBMS and then put the instance for that as well and then at the same time you will also have to set the IPs and a lot of other prerequisites that you are required to do since this is a uh, a quick demonstration I do not want to uh, you know include those things over here but you will get to see each and everything in detail uh, in the practical and you will also have to set the IPs that's how the node will be connected with the IPs and soon after that once the, everything is done this node will also be able to access the sh shared storage all right and that's how it becomes the part of the cluster and that is what we intend to do so all these three machines will now have database running in the form of instances and the instances this time are going to be three since we have added a third node as well to expand the business as simple as that that is the reason it is just one liner if you uh, if you are if your business is expanding and you feel there is a necessity of adding a node you can either discuss with somebody in the real time and then uh, you know get the implementation done or you will be advised by the client or your manager or somebody at the higher authority to get this activity done and with the help of the Linux administrator, with the help of the system administrator, uh, multiple, uh, you know, uh, I would call teams will actually uh, be involved in this activity. Not throughout the activity, but the stage-wise activities. Like, like you, you will get the operating system machine installed first, and then you will have to request for the IPs that you need to use to set up these things. That's how it works, and that's all about adding a node. Mm, the theoretical part nothing much about the theory so I did not want to unnecessarily put something into it and uh, you may continue uh, seeing the practical to have a better understanding and then you will understand each and everything very clearly okay. thank you